Using a bait system around your home is a great preventative treatment for termites. Their main purpose is to stop termites coming from the yard and into your house. The Hex Pro baiting system is a great choice to stop termites before they infest your home. Unlike older bait systems, the Hex Pro bait stations have larger slots that allow for maximum bait to soil contact. This allows for better and more accurate termite monitoring. Before installing the stations, make sure to read the product label completely. The first step is to install the stations into the ground every 8 to 10 feet around the perimeter of your structure. They should be placed 2 to 4 feet away from the foundation, but you can place the stations as far as 20 feet from the structure if decks, sidewalks, porches, or landscaped areas prevent closer baiting. Make sure the placement is not under the drip line from the roof of the structure. The top of the station should be flush with the soil surface. The spacing between stations can be reduced if termite activity is known in a specific area and is heavy. Here's a pro tip. Install the bait stations following landscape plantings. These areas usually contain mulch or some sort of ground covering which will contain lots of moisture. This makes ideal conditions for termite activity. Second step. If there is termite activity present, you should replace wood cartridges with shatter termite bait cartridges. Don't bait unless you have termite activity. If an infested Hexpro termite station is baited with shatter termite bait, it's strongly recommended that one or more auxiliary stations be placed and baited as well. This will increase bait volume and maximize bait consumption. Refer to the shatter bait product label for further details. The third step is to increase the chance of bait consumption. You can enhance the chance of consumption of the shatter termite bait by adding about an ounce of water or sugar-based drinks, like sport performance drinks, to the recruitment chamber of the bait cartridge. To do this, make sure you leave the plastic wrapper on while filling up the bait tube. Let it soak into the bait, then take the plastic wrapper off before adding it to the bait station. If you're installing stations in arid or dry climates, add up to two fluid ounces before introducing termites to the chamber. Here's another pro tip. Take the monitoring device that was being fed upon in an infested station and tap some of the termites into the bait tube. This is called self-recruitment. It will cause about 30% more feeding on bait tubes. Termites will eat their way out and take the poison to the colony, which will start the elimination process. The fourth step is to check baited stations every 30 to 90 days to see if termite activity is detected or has stopped. When activity stops, shattered termite bait can be removed and replaced with a wood monitor. Repeat the process as needed. If you're dealing with Formosan termites, stations should be checked more often, about once a month, because these termites consume more bait. The fifth and final step is to replace the wood monitor as needed. Wood that is soggy or moldy should be replaced as soon as possible. And it's that easy, with the expert help from DoMyOwnPestControl.com. Subscribe to our channel for more DIY and product videos.